On this week's episode of Mid-State Outdoors, we're taking a look at the youth hunt with Adam Jones and his daughter Hadley. We'll also be following along with Zach Savo and his daughter Madison. Hey guys, it's uh, the opening day of the Michigan youth season. I'm here with my daughter Madison. We um, had eight does, two bucks on the food plot already this morning. Probably should have shot to one, but you know, it's early, so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, guys.
this morning, like early, early, like, I don't know. Six, early six o'clock. Like 10 to six, or 10 to seven. Barely had enough light, you'll see in the video. Barely had enough light to uh, film it. So, I don't think she could have got a shot off anyways. But uh, we got all season. This is just an early hunt for him. We got all weekend to do nothing but hunting. So, stay tuned. Remember, subscribe, like, comment, and share. But we got a little surprise kicker coming up. My nephew just pulled the trigger on a six point this morning. So, we're going to let him lay for a little bit and then we're going to head on out and look for him. So, stay tuned. Let's see if we can go find him. His first deer with a compound bow. Yes, you can hunt during the youth season with a gun, but Hadley and Jackson are wanting to do it with a stick and string, which makes me happy. So, teaching them right. Stay tuned. All right, film me on what happened, bud. I shot a six point buck from 20 yards in a tree stand. That's it? That's the story? How'd you come in? Um, yeah, that would be. What? How'd you come in? Tell Uncle Bubba um, what happened. Where'd he come from? What'd he, he do? He came in from the uh, corn and he was walking for a little bit and um, he just uh, stopped at a uh, uh, perfect shot from 20 yards and um, I grabbed my bow and I shot it. Were you shaking like you're shaking right now? No, I wasn't shaking uh, that much, but... Um, well, you look like I, you're shaking like a leaf I, right now. But as soon as I shot, um, Dad um, forced me into the seat because he didn't want me to fall. <laughs> I was really, like shaking so much because that's my first deer. So there you have it. This is my nephew, Jackson. Hadley passed a six point this morning and he shot a six point this morning. So from what I gathered, the shot was back a little bit. So we are going to go see what we can find. Hopefully we can find the deer uh, and go from there. He ran into the corn about 30 to 40 yards. and We don't know if he bedded down, but we're hoping he's dead already. We're hoping he's not in the ditch. <laughs> so we'll go from there. We'll, we'll, let, we'll take the cameras with. Stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm going to continue on with my nephew's six point that he shot during the U season. I know in the last video we said we'd take the cameras with us. We did take the cameras back with us, but my nephew was not very excited uh, with what we had found at the initial shot. So he was pretty torn up about it. So I didn't feel like it was probably the right thing to do to video it. So I'm going to do this on screen video to kind of fill you in on what happened with it give the story a little closure so along this wood edge here and here i have a clover plot it's too wet for us to farm so i put in a clover plot along there uh, the tree stands right in this area and there was a scrape about 10 yards right in this area i believe the shot was like 15 yards i think he says in the video before um the shot was back a little bit. We came back here. I think we gave him like two hours. Um, he had a football game that day, so we weren't really rushing it. But we wanted to try to find the deer before his football game. But the shot was back. We got back here. Like I said, we found very little blood. No arrow. Um, I think we found like two specks of blood at first. We ended up trying to find where the deer had crossed into this cornfield here. Never found any footprints, blood, nothing. Um, we ended up grid searching this whole corner of the cornfield. Never found nothing. Um, he had to leave to go to his football game. Uh, I was going to go to the football game, but I ended up staying back and I gave a good friend of mine, Rob Miller, a call to see if he could come out with his dogs. He was already on a track, so he was busy. 
he gave me a number to another guy that he thought would be a good fit for the shot that we had. Um, they ended up coming down from, I believe, Mount Pleasant. Ran the dogs for about two hours. Dogs never really hit on anything. Um, didn't even hit on the blood that we had found. Um, they tracked it. We went all the way over into the neighbors. Um, the, tr the guy thought that one of the dogs hit on something somewhere over in this area here. So they brought both dogs over and grid searched this whole CRP field. Never found nothing. So at that point, the um, guy with the dogs had a pretty good uh, idea that the deer was still alive. And I kind of had that feeling too after not finding a whole lot of blood. Not even any gut matter or anything like that. So... We believe the deer is still alive. We've had trail cameras up. We don't believe we've had pictures of him. But he was similar to another deer in the area. So we haven't found, never found the arrow. We have not combined this cornfield yet either. Uh, as a lot of people know in Midwest we've been getting hammered with rain. So actually today we just got two inches of rain. So that pushed harvest off even more. So back to hunting we go. But we do appreciate you guys turning into our videos. It helps us out a lot if you subscribe to them, comment, hit that like button, hit that bell to be notified when we drop new videos. We got a lot of videos coming up, even some new stuff. Um, for all you goose hunters out there, stay tuned. We got some uh, goose and duck hunting coming up. So stay tuned. We had one nice buck work its way off to the west of us across and bedded down when we walked out. We walked right by him, he didn't jump, but he didn't let us walk back by him. Too bad he was on the neighbors. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens.
just sit here. I'm just gonna walk back up here, but can you see it? Yeah. You see the small one? Which way is it facing? Left or right? The small one's facing the right and the big one's facing the left. About the end of the last night of the youth, huh? We um, thought we were gonna go or go, but as you'll see in the video, the gun misfired, didn't go off, and we couldn't just get it to go down after that. So, hopefully, both seasons better than this, but we still got a few more minutes, so we'll see what happens. Sometimes the hunt is not all about the harvest let alone the size of the buck. Sometimes it's about spending time with family and friends, enjoying the outdoors. We at Mid-State love the thought of getting youth involved in the outdoors, and we are lucky enough to also watch our kids succeed in their future hunting adventures. They still have a lot of season left to fill their tags.